I'm Naomi. I'm a librarian at Falkirk Council Libraries. We have been hosting Memory Scotland Reminiscence Sessions. Memory Scotland is a national initiative building upon the work of the Scottish Football Museum. Our reminiscence sessions are fun, accessible and open to all. I know I thoroughly enjoy hosting these sessions. Here is some feedback from some of the people who attend. So what is your favourite thing about coming to the memory sessions in Bowness Library? I was going to say tea and cake, but I really enjoy meeting people who have lived here all their lives. And I'm obviously only here for 48 years, so I haven't got the passport yet, but um, I'm working on it. And, and the stories that come out and tell you that you would never hear at any you know, except from local people. Mm -hmm. and, and they're so honest in what, what they tell you. And they disclose special things about themselves as well. It's like, it's like a wee family of trust almost. It's like a confessional sometimes, I think. So I, I find it very interesting and, and I just like being with people and I'm a people person. And you know that you're looking back and you're thinking how different it is for the generation now from what it was whenever we were young and it's yeah it's fun it's fun you know people come out with all sorts of different things because we're all from different backgrounds and different places and, and we're different ages I love coming to them because you get a good laugh you get to make new friends and you get to think of all of those disreputable things that you did in your youth. But you can look at places in the village, for example, mm -hmm. and you know what it's like now. But some of the photographs that you've brought out have been old Bonnie Bridge, so you look at that and you say, oh, that's what it was like. I joined the group because I was interested in who I am. Um, I've done my, my uh, lineage, my family lineage, uh, my DNA. I love the history about Bones. I've read every single book about Bones. But who am I? What made me? And that's why I came along to the group. Because I wanted to listen to stories from other people, learn from other people. From this group, it's all these lovely stories then I think, oh yeah, I forgot about that shop and I forgot about these wor old worthies of Bones. So um, I get a lot of out of the group, but I hope that I contribute as well to the group with some facts about the town, etc. I've got some old uh, washboards. One is uh, glass and the other's metal. So I'm going to bring them along sometime to one of the meetings. Uh, because I'd be interested, some of the younger ones won't have seen them. They won't know what they are. I used to have an old carpet beater as well, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, one of the funniest things was whenever you were thinking about school days. And some of the things that some of the group were coming out with, that how <clears throat> naughty they had been at school, shall we say? You know, and how often they'd had the bell, and I'm thinking I was a good child. No, I only ever got the bell once, and that was because the whole class got it. You know, but you know, seeing these um, very prim-looking eighty odd year old ladies <laughs> discussing their youth, you know, and I thought, yeah, it was fun. It, it, it was really, really funny. Oh, the stories of bygone era, how they lived, and how little they had. You know, we think we're bad now, but they had no money, no food. Then, in fact, they're better off then in some cases than we, we think upon ourselves now because we've been used to so much. And they had nothing, and they shared everything. They shared everything, food, coal, everything. They would never let you go without a meal. They would share their last bite with you. I find that very touching, and you get that in small communities. I get that with my neighbours too. So, but well, it gets you out of the house, and it get you meet new people, and you hear, you realise just how well off you are yourself when you hear the stories and the other, other people have gone through and what they've gone through in life. You know, there's always somebody that, that you can sympathise with. 
and it makes your lot seem a bit better, I think. And I just, uh, I, I really think it's a great idea. We should have done it years ago. And I mean, I'm glad I started coming, really glad. And I look forward to it. And the only thing you will definitely be asked is, do you want tea or coffee? Good, and it? which bit of cake would you like? <laughs> if you or a family member would like to come along to one of our sessions, or even volunteer at some of our sessions, pop along to your local library for more information, or drop us an email at libraries at falkirk.gov.uk.